first tonight. Should they stay or should they go? Florida voters watch and wait as the state Supreme Court now is about to decide if you will be able to vote on two very controversial issues. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anken. Thank you for staying up late with us. Hope you have a very nice Easter. Florida's Amendment 3 would legalize recreational marijuana throughout the state. Now, remember, medical marijuana is already legal in Florida. Amendment 4 would prohibit bans on abortion. Both were supposed to appear on this November's ballot. But Attorney General Ashley Moody challenged the language on both of these issues. The Florida Supreme Court is now expected to deliver their decision tomorrow on whether voters will see these issues on the ballot or not. News 6's Eric Sandoval breaks down what's at stake. Now, to even get on the ballot, both of these proposed amendments needed thousands of signatures. They got those signatures, but were these amendments worded correctly? That is what state Supreme Court justices are deciding. Is it safe to say that the eyes of the country are going to be on the Florida Supreme Court with their decisions on these? Yeah. Uh, most definitely. News 6 political analyst Dr. Jim Clark says legalizing marijuana and keeping abortion legal are two very hot political topics right now. And that is part of the reason he says both of these issues made it to the Florida Supreme Court. Take the proposed language on Amendment 4 on abortion. The summary reads, no law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion. The attorney general argued it's a design to lay ticking time bombs that will enable abortion proponents later to argue that the amendment has a much broader meaning than voters would have ever thought. But there are some questions, legitimate questions, raised by the attorney general and the governor about the wording, and that's what the Supreme Court looks at. Is this worded properly as a constitutional amendment? The ballot summary for Amendment 3 allows adults 21 years or older to possess, purchase, or use marijuana products. The Attorney General opposes ballot placement uh, because we think in several ways this ballot summary is misleading. Recreational marijuana, what is at stake with the Justice's decision on this? It would loosen the rules allowing recreational marijuana, which uh, Republicans don't want for two reasons. First of all, they don't want to loosen the marijuana laws, but secondly, they see it as a political issue. They might, they might see it drive voters, especially young liberal voters who might tend to vote Democratic. State Supreme Court justices are expected to decide if you will see both of these amendments on your November ballot Monday at 4 o'clock. If they do appear on your ballot, they will need 60% of the vote to pass. In Orlando, Eric Sandoval, Getting Results, New 6. Thank you, Eric. So we asked you, what do you think of legalizing marijuana on clickrelated.com? User D said, I honestly think the voters should decide. I, however, doubt it will ever become legal in Florida because even if voters voted on it, it would be blocked for years. Well, user Common Sense said this legal weed just needs to happen already. I know some of you don't agree, but it's not solving anything being illegal, end of quote. Well, you can let us know what you think. Go to clickorlando.com and comment on this story right on the home page.